It should have been the most exciting day of our lives. We were pregnant and we were heading into a hospital for our first scan. But when we got there, they told us there's a problem. So we've been waiting to have a child for about 10 years and we suddenly found out that we were pregnant. We were told this fetus wasn't going to grow properly because there was a, a problem with the skeleton, which meant that there wouldn't be enough room for the lungs to develop properly, which means actually even if the pregnancy did go full term and the baby was born, it would never be able to breathe. So we just went through months and months of just going back and forth to the hospital and being given bad news, followed by more bad news. We had no answers. We didn't know what was causing the problem and the doctors weren't able to give us any real clear understanding of why this was happening. We just knew that everything was not as it should be. I guess when you feel that your faith is just not strong enough, it's amazing to have people around you to help you stand. And that was an amazing thing, to see people who would cry with us and laugh with us and encourage us. People to hope for you and have faith for you. So we went for this intervention meeting close to the birth and we didn't really know what to expect. The doctor said, well, when the baby dies, would you like us to leave the baby with you in, in the room or would you like us to take it next door or, or should we take the, the baby to a hospice down the road? We were just stunned. We were like, well, we don't want any of those things. If the baby was alive when it was born, um, it wouldn't survive for long. We struggle with our doubt and we'd seen God heal people in the past. We'd seen him not heal people in the past. We genuinely believed that God could, but the hard things that we didn't know if he would. When these storms in our life come, we can choose to be defined by them or we can choose joy. Even though we didn't know what was going to happen, we needed to be thankful for what God had given us. And actually, I genuinely believe that it's in the midst of giving thanks that we saw the power of God just move. It was late at night on the 5th of January and all of a sudden, Charlotte jumped up and her waters broke in just the most dramatic fashion. And we jumped in the car and we headed across London to get to the hospital. And so we were rushed into theatre. And just minutes before they were going to do the delivery, the consultant called me over again and said, Mr Williams, you do realise we don't expect this child to live. You know, just constantly managing our expectations, kind of reinforcing to us the severity of the situation. I was just like, come on, let's just do this thing. I was sat at Charlotte's head and the next thing I know, they're lifting Adelaide up and she began to cry immediately. This is uh, our baby that they'd said would never breathe. And immediately she began to cry and there she was. Our little girl was alive and breathing and I was able to hold her in my arms. All of the pain, all of the negativity, all of these months and months of being told one thing suddenly in a moment is changed. You know, in one scream suddenly we know that, that that wasn't the final say. Actually there was more, there was life. So we still have lots of questions, there's still lots of uncertainty, there's still lots of challenges every day, but we know that in the midst of 
the troubles in life, we can choose joy. And that's a joy that's not dependent on whether stuff's going well or not. It's a joy and it's a thankfulness that we can know because God is in control and because we trust him, that he has the best for us. He loves us.